Where did this chicken come from? I have no idea. I turned my head for a second, and all of a sudden I end up with her and nine of her best friends. You're about to find out how that happened. Hey everybody, welcome to Crossright Homestead. So me and Mary are out working on the chicken pen once again, the project that seems to never end. Um, but while we're sitting here looking at the fence, take a look at what we see just outside the fence right here. We got ourselves a couple of morel mushrooms right here by the fence. So what a blessing to be working on a project and look down and find some morel mushrooms right there. Don't even have to go out in the woods and look for them. So you can rest assured, I'm gonna be picking those here shortly, taking them in and have them for supper. So here's what was just half a dozen nice mushrooms right outside the chicken pen. So, hey, that's a blessing, we'll take it. Welcome back, friends. Um, so what we're gonna do now is try to take some of this plastic um, netting. We're gonna put it over the chicken pen just to keep predators out and to help keep the chickens in in case they've tried to fly out. So what we're doing is we're just pulling this tight with a zip tie and holding it with a zip tie because it's just a very thin plastic material. Just trying to keep any birds of prey from taking our chickens. Here, I've got to go to the taller part. Okay, so here's how we got the end cap closed in. Can't really see this stuff because it's almost like it's it just disappears. I'm gonna put some staples in. Okay, so as we're putting up the netting, if you look down this fence right here, you can see how it's kind of bowed out a little bit. That's from us tightening up with this netting. So I don't like to do this, but what I'm gonna try, I've heard this works, is if you take your pliers and you kink these lengths of fence, it'll tighten it up. It makes sense, I don't like to do that because you're ruining your fence, but I don't like the looks of that and I just, going to bother me every time I walk by it. So I'm going to go inside and we'll try and see if we can take up some of this slack. Ok, 
Okay, so as you can see, this line is much straighter now. And the fence is a lot tighter. So as long as you don't mind having those little kinks in the fence, that's how you can take some slack out of it. It's a chicken pen, so it really doesn't matter for the chickens. It doesn't matter to me. So I'd rather have it nice and tight rather than just a loose fence. So it straightened it right up. Well, it's Wednesday, and the first Wednesday of every month, there's an auction up north in Indiana, and we're going to go check it out. Hey, friends. Welcome back to Crossright Homestead. I'm Steve, and this is Mary, and today we're at an auction. We're going to look and see what the, they have for sale. They got some chickens. They got some ducks, a couple pigs. So we're going to take a look and see what we can find. Three, 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 and four, seven, three, four. Do you want more? We got three more here. We're going to keep holding. You want three more holders? Let's go. Three, three, six, three. Mark, lead roads up. Let me just find those. Don't close them. Just go. Find us. Battle, battle, battle. Three, five, four, seven, four, nine, three, four. Sit down, five, nine, five, six, seven, four, 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 nine
last one. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, you two. Have a good evening. Hey, folks, thanks for tuning in to Crossright Homestead. Hope you like and subscribe, and we'll see you on our next video.